Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see about encoding and decoding. So this basically is something like the encryption and decryption. So for example, like there are like lots of questions to me where people are asking that they want to upload the scripts or uh, sorry, they want to upload a value, a username or a password because they get a value uh, in an encrypted manner and then they want to decode it and then they want to send it as a parameter or they want to send it as a value to the request, right? So uh, hope you are someone who is facing a similar issue. Uh, and in this video, we'll see how to encode and decode. Say for example, if you are getting some uh, value, a username, and you want to uh, encrypt it and then you want to send it as a parameter or you want to send it as a correlation value you can do it and then if some values like you already get the value encrypted or decrypt uh, you already got the value encrypted and then you want to decrypt it and then you want to uh, like you are getting uh, the encrypted value in the response and then you want to decrypt it and then once you decrypt that value you send it back to the request in an encrypted manner so it, it all depends like uh, to improve the security of the application every technology and every team is implementing their own uh, set of technologies to add more security to it so all of all these things happen and uh, today in our video we'll see uh, the very basic uh, way of doing encryption decryption and then we'll see how to parameterize the encryption decryption decryption values and then we'll see also how to correlate the values as well okay so now uh, firstly, I uh, will start with that very basic one. And before that, uh, hope you all know uh, that uh, we are having a load runner training on September 14th and 15th. And I'll share you the uh, registration link in the description. If you're interested, please do join the uh, training. That will be very helpful for you because we are going to discuss about lots and lots of uh, uh, knowledge uh, on the training, on the two days training, it's going to be a 16 hours of training. So just imagine how much amount of information you will learn, you can share. And uh, the next thing is like, we're going to also discuss about uh, uh, the interview questions as well in terms of load runner. So it, it's it's kind of a kind of a mock interview and it's going to be a kind of a uh, interview related uh, uh, trainings that will happen from the day two. The second, the fourth session will be mostly related to the uh, interview questions and then yeah, apart from that, we're going to discuss about uh, the recording of various protocols, the parameterization, correlation, and everything. So please do uh, consider joining or please do register for the training. So now, before we move on to this one, so let me uh, take you to the function. So to go to the functions, I'll go to the tools. <clears throat> so this tools actually has uh, lots of functions. So I'm going to pick up the function help, uh, function helper. And then the very first one, the basic 64 decode. And then we have the basic 64 encode. So what does this 64 decode and the encode does? So this encode one, so this will encode the value or this will encrypt the value. And then the decode will decrypt the value for us. So for now, for an example, I'm going to use the river, the value river as the parameter or as the uh, username. And that I have to encrypt and I have to send it as a uh send it as a request okay as, as, or as a part of a request so when i add the value like the value river and when i click generate and copy i get the functional syntax and then what is the value the result of the function as well so let me show you what how to how to use this so for now for this example i'm just picking this value and then let me uh, add this in the response data and let me run it and show you what happens when i run this value Yeah, so uh, the encode works fine. And the only mistake which I made is I have not covered it with the, uh, the closing parenthesis. So once I did close that, I'm able to see the encoded value, which basically is the encrypted value. So for the value, which is for the va word river is this particular value, the one that is encoded here. And the another thing is, uh, so now we see how to encode or how to encrypt the value. And now we'll see how to decrypt or decode the value. And for that, I'm going back to the tools section and go to the function help dialog. 
and then I have the decode value. So here I'm pasting the value, the value that has been encoded or encrypted. And when I click on generate and copy to clipboard, I get this syntax. In the meantime, the result of this function is coming back to the reverse. So the value which we encoded is again when we did a decode, it did came back. So that is what the encode and decode works. So it, it always works in the same manner. So any value that you encode, and once you uh, decode the value or once you decrypt that value to the original one, it will come to the original value, which is in this scenario, it is river, right? So let me run it. Let, let's run it and see how does it work. So going to the view results tree and here you can see here is the decoded value and here is the encoded value. And now we'll see how to do the same using a parameter. So now we are passing the value uh, in a hard coded manner and what if it is coming from the uh, parameterization right so let's do it let's do that so for that i'm going to do select config csv data set config and then uh, yeah, let me create a file going into the encode and decode so now let me create a csv file in going to the new and then let me create a text document and that's going to be username minus password dot csv yes and let's open it so i have the username and password file and then river and one so this is the username and password which i use so let me save it and now going back to the uh csv data set config let's take the file from encode and decode the csv file open it file encoding I have nothing to do here so it's going to be the same one variable names comma delimited so one is username and the other one is the password and ignore first line false I'm not going to do any parameterization part I'm just going to show you how does the parameterization part works in the uh, encode and decode right so now we have everything ready I'm going back to the deep uh, dummy sampler so what I'm going to do is instead of having the value as river I'm going to change it to the username, right? So to parameterize, sort of replace the value, you have to give dollar bracket and then username, right? And then, yeah, another thing what we can do is let me copy this value here and I will replace that in this file, right? So what I'll do is I'll replace this file here. Let me save it. And then I'll come back to the JMeter and then this one I will replace it to password. So I can see the value, right? Yep, I think I have uh, replaced it. So in the first one, I'm encoding or I'm encrypting the value, the original value river to encrypted value. And then in the second one, I'm going to decode the value and then I'm going to print it, right? So let's run it and see what does, how does it work? Yep, so here, um, the encoded, uh, encrypted value, and then here we have the decrypted value. So what did we did so far is, um, previously we did hard-coded a value, right? So we did hard-coded a value. Uh, we gave directly the values river, and then we encoded the value, decoded the value back to the original value. Uh, in a hard coded manner. And now what I did is I just parameterize the value, whatever. So in case if you are running like multiple scenarios and if you want to, uh, every time you want to encode the value, yes, you can very well do it. And if you have the value uh, decoded, yes, you can also do that value here. You can just decode that value. So we did successfully manage to get the value from the parameterization. I mean, like if you have a parameter, set of parameters, you can uh, encrypt that value instead of like doing only once you can just encrypt the value and you can send it to the uh, send it as part of the request right so now in the next scenario we are going to correlate the value and then we will uh, see how does it work so for example i have in the response right i have in the response um username equals river So in the regular expression extractor, I'm going to extract that value. So here um, it's going to be regex minus username. And then the regular expression is going to be 
username equal to dot star question mark so this will extract that value and then in the group value i'm going to extract the first value and it's the match number is going to be one and uh, if the value is not found then i'm going to uh, add na right so now i have extracted the value here which is in the regex username and then i'm going to add another dummy sampler and here i'm going to and i mean like i'm going to encrypt and print that value okay so it's going to be the same one so after adding the regular exp expression extractor and extracting the value from this dummy sampler from the original one so i'm i'm, I'm actually what I do is this is kind of a regular expression value. So I'm extracting the value from the response and then I'm going to pass it in the next request. So in this request, I'm going to just uh, add that value. So the value is the regex username and to correlate that value, I'm going to uh, add a dollar symbol and then open braces and then the value which I correlate and then the close bracket. And uh, the value uh, that we need to encode, right? So what I do is I have extracted the value and then I'm going to uh, encode that value. So for that, I'm going back to the original one and I'm picking this one from here, the, the, the regular express, the expression for the encoding. And then I'm pasting this value and then I'm going to take this regex username from here and then let me paste it. So now what I do is I extract that value from the previous response and then I'm going to do two things. One is I'm going to print, I'm going to send that value in the next request and also I'm going to print that value in the next request so that you can see how does it work. So I'm going to save it, clear everything, run it, coming back to the second one. So yeah, in the response data, yes, the value uh, that is encoded is this value, the CM um, I to ZXI and in the request you can see the value which I'm passing is river, right? So there are like several things which we can do actually uh, using this one. Uh, you can encode, you can decode, you can uh, encode from the previous one, you can decode it. Uh, again, like for example, you can even encode and send it for example, like let me tell you. So you want, if you want to encode it, let me just copy this one, control C and paste it. So what you do is you are extracting the uh, original value or you're extracting the normal value from here and then you are encoding it and then you are sending it as a, encrypted value in the next request right so let's see what happens when we do it yep so if in the request you can see you have requested the value from the value that you have extracted from the previous uh, response you have encrypted it and then you are sending it as a request to the next request so so this is these are the ways where you can um, very well use the function so the functions that we use are base 64 encode and base 64 decode so you can use these functions very well to encode and decode or to encrypt and decrypt the value and in fact there are uh, there is one more function which i would say is the uh let me bring it here so uh, the another function is the url encode and decode uh, which we'll see in our next session so until i meet you in our next session uh, it's bye bye from and your favorite little slot youtube channel take care and bye bye